Good afternoon. Business leaders have branded the votes against a directly elected mayor in Birmingham and Coventry as a missed opportunity. The referendum delivered a resounding no to the idea yesterday for both cities. But it may not be the end of the story, as Amy Harris explains. This is how the council is run now. 39,000. The moment Coventry said no to an elected mayor. Hours later, Birmingham followed suit. Across the two cities, people voted in their thousands to keep the status quo. I think given the mayor control of, of everything that's happening is wrong. We've just got to go what we've got and uh, hopefully we can pull out of this uh, economic climate that we're in. So I don't think that um, one person should have, you know, all the say in what goes on. But it was a vote that yes campaigners didn't think they'd see and a vote that business communities in both cities have described as a lost opportunity. We're hugely disappointed. Business wanted a yes vote and a campaign very hard for one. Um, but our focus now has to be on making sure we get the reform and the change we need through the existing leader model at the council. And we'll be focusing on that to make sure we get the jobs and growth Birmingham needs. The result comes after months of high-profile Labour politicians putting themselves forward for the role, which was the Prime Minister's big idea. But despite the election rejection, a second mayoral referendum for Birmingham may be on the cards. I think that the success over the years uh, of different cities led by mayors um, might be something that people of Birmingham look at and they can come back to at another point. For now, though, it remains the councillor's responsibility, both here in Birmingham and in Coventry, to elect their own mayor. Amy Harris, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. And one of those who might have stood for mayor of Birmingham, Labour MP Gisela Stewart, will be on Sunday Politics tomorrow, giving her thoughts on why the people of the city rejected the idea of a directly elected mayor. And that's from midday tomorrow.